Are you still manually unwrapping your RBD UVs? Well, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy procedural way to do it in the next two minutes. Hey everybody, it's Brian here, back with another procedural nugget on this Tuesday. Here's a quick UV trick that I like to use. I'm gonna explain it to you really fast and then you'll never UV another way again. So let's get started. So most people, when they're UVing, they will come up here uh, with their RBD material fracture or any fracture that you're using. And I've seen this done on some videos where they'll just drop the auto UVer down and then use the actual layout built in. And it does a decent job, don't get me wrong. And you'll see the issue that I have with it right off the bat. And that is just the layout. Now you can also try and lay out your UVs, but they are gonna be stretched. They're not gonna look very good and it just doesn't do a good job. So usually what ends up happening is you either have stretched UVs or the auto UVer kind of, you know, it kind of skews the UVs on the inside for you and you don't have any control over it. If you dive into the auto UV, you'll see what's actually happening. It is they are doing the processes using the nodes that you actually have. In fact, if you look over here, you'll see the uh, H17 UV auto seam. There it is, an auto seam a UV flatten. These are the process that we would do anyways. And this kind of just proves that this is a great way to work. You'll take a look at this process right here. Let's build it on our own. So let's just go and get rid of all of this. And I have the RBD material fracture. I have a split from the inside here. Uh, we'll do a for each named primitive. And this is what we'll get. So the inside of the named primitives. And I, like I said, I'm going to start with that UV unwrap. I don't have to do anything with this. It does a great job, by the way. Um, and then you could just throw the layout node after the fact, so also a UV layout. Um, the problem though, is it just creates seams wherever it wants to create seams. Even if I come in here and try to uh, lower the spacing and I just try to play with the planes, because of the complexity of our fracture, it's gonna create a lot of seams. So what I like to do is drop a UV auto seam. So I'm gonna do that UV auto seam. And let's give it a unique name. Uh, we'll call it seams is totally fine uh, what you can do is maybe go underscore seams just so that you know it's only for this so we'll do uv seams and i'm going to do the existing islands because i don't want to recreate the uvs switch this to existing islands and we'll come back and play with this but it's this attribute that's important now we could drop a uv flatten and the uv flatten will allow us to flatten all of these uvs together i'm currently looking at the uh, uv layout down here and you're going to see the power that's happening it's flattening these uvs it's gonna keep them all together. Now the problem though, is if I go to here, you'll see that they are, some of them will be stretched out uh, and they won't look that great. But uh, I mean, at this detail, it's not that terrible, but let's go ahead and clean it up. Yeah, there you go. So you have some stretched out UVs. So let's go clean that up. And the easiest way to do that is here on the UV flatten node. Let's go and add that underscore seams group in. And there we go. And we could play with this procedurally uh, with our sliders here, with our merge threshold, and there you go. And now, here in the exploded view, you'll have a much better look with your UVs. All we have to do now is just merge these back in to the original. And there you go. This is one of my favorite techniques to use in the industry, as well as here on almost every single destruction shot that I do. It avoids a long, tedious task of complex destruction and going through the labs, uh, auto UV, then having to cache, and then if something's wrong, I have to go back. You can see how much faster this process is, even though it's using a for loops, which is a heavy process. So leave a comment below, uh, and you have a different workflow. I would love to hear your workflows. But uh, with that said, until the next time, I'll see you in the next video.